this is an ultrasound study of uh, 60 years old male with the history of uh, uh, he came uh, with the history of a lump in the region of the right hypochondrium but uh, here what we see is that this is the right kidney and uh, it measures approximately <coughs> Uh, 13.2 into 4.9. Now lengthwise, it is in line as up to 11 in our uh, social uh, and uh, social conditions and culture. Up to 11 is considered normal. It is 13.2, so enlarged in length. However, in anterior posterior diameter, it is 4.88 millimeter, uh, uh, 4.88 centimeters. So it's normal in anterior posterior diameter, and this is the important diameter, most important. And as you see, uh, these are few cystic areas seen two at the uh, lower pole, one another is in, at the anterior male region, and this one at, is at the upper pole, uh, sorry, lower pole in, and in the uh, inferior region of the parenchyma. The rest of the parenchyma is normal. As we can see, uh, the corticomedullary differentiation and uh, the parenchyma liquidity compared to the liver should be less and it is. So this is the second thing. Now the third thing is that you see that there are multiple calculi seen within the lumen uh, rather, sorry, uh, within the uh, collecting system, the largest of this measures 2.3 centimeters and gives posterior shadow. Uh, a bit gain, gain is raised, that's why uh, they, you don't see the dark shadow. However, if I reduce the gain, you will see a dark shadow. This is uh, how you adjust your machine. So this now you will see a dark shadow, whereas initially you were seeing a dirty shadow. So this is the calculus in the uh, mid uh, calyces, and there are multiple calculi seen, rather concretions gathered together. Concretions. This is a small one, second, third, fourth, five. Six. Now they are all gathered together in the lower pole uh, of the uh, right kidney. And uh, though, and thus we see these uh, ecogenic uh, areas giving posterior shadow. Uh, here you see they are giving posterior shadow. We can see them in all of the uh, collecting system. Now uh, the thing is that uh, such conditions, such uh, a finding is also seen in stack on calculi. So KUB X-ray is uh, mandatory, first of all. So I will advise uh, X-ray KUB to rule out any uh, possibility of uh, stack on calculus in this case. So this is an incidental finding with the cyst, simple cyst seen. Uh, this is the one cyst, second cyst. This is the other one. So there are uh, a few cysts, simple cysts seen in the kidney. Okay, now moving forward, uh, this is the kidney, otherwise uh, the kidney uh, does not show any properly and both holes are clear of any region. There is a long year of the year of the year of the year of I wish to show you that, uh, forget about this finding so far, forget about this. Let's concentrate on the liver. You see the, this is the photo vein branching into right and left, left and right. And uh, this is the, here you see I uh, the hepatic veins, they are all fitted transfer section through the uh, uh, subcostal region in, okay. So there is uh, 
nothing significant in this region. This is the uh, left row. So what I observe with the bus TK, and you can see left hepatic vein. This is the left hepatic vein and in the IVC. Now here you, I wish to show you uh, the left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section. And uh, this is the chordate lobe. And this is the chordate lobe of the liver. No segment one of the liver. No pathology is seen relating to the chordate lobe of the liver. Okay. So following this. Now you see, I have got, I have got the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder oh, from my end. Seven point three centimeters in length and uh, one point nine three centimeter in uh, the fundal region and. Uh, Another thing to see is that uh, it contains thick sludge. This is all sludge. And this shadow, this dark shadow, is suggestive of the fact that uh, this, uh, there is calcification of this uh, uh, part of the sludge. Go uh, through calculus is now seen, but this area giving posterior, dark posterior shadow minus 14. Mm, uh, and uh, the gallbladder is in front of you, and uh, this is the transfer section of the gallbladder. Okay, now let me go back to the gallbladder first. Let me magnify it. Now, this is the gallbladder. Now you can see cogenic area. Yeah, this is the calculus, and uh, this is the posterior shadow. Only small amount of human, clear human is seen, rest all you can see is this slight thick sludge that is non-mobile. Uh, this is the transfer section. I feel like applying some color on this region. Iklamba sala ke saro klo bhundo. Here we are. Now, no, as such, uh, no blood flow is seen within this. Uh, by dormant arrow within this uh, gall tum uh, sorry, the sludge filled gallbladder. Going further into the study, I see a large mass at the uh, extending from the region of the right hypochondrium, measuring approximately 12 centimeter by Five centimeter approximate measurement, and if you see, it gives uh, a, a mixed echo appearance. The outer wall is relatively muffled, and the internally you can see multiple uh, echogenic areas. Even in that, tiny cystic areas are seen. Uh, this is the uh, mass, solid mass, because we do not see any posterior wall acoustic enhancement. There is no calcification seen within this mass, and this is the portal vein that you, is in front of you. This is the common bile duct, and uh, the portal vein measures uh, approximately 8.0 from this view. Anyways, not dilated, and uh, so this is a mixed echo uh, mass. 
in longitudinal section extending from the region of the right hypochondrium from just below the uh, gallbladder neck region and then extending down into the uh, right lower quadrant area. This is the Let's apply some color. Let's see here. Yeah, it is vascular. You can see vessels throughout this map. A lot of vessels are seen within this uh, relatively hypopoic solid mass. <coughs> within the homogeneous appearance. There we are. Now these are all vessels within it. These are all vessels. You can see that. So it's a vascular mass. And uh, this is the portal vein. This is the portal vein. Centripetal flow. Okay. Now, this is the region of the porta hepatis, <coughs> and what you see is that this is the portal vein. This is the mass. This is the mass. And this is the common bile duct. And the common bile duct measures 4.3 millimeters. And you know, up to 7 is normal, so CBD is not direct. There is uh, no evidence of intrahepatic bile duct lactasia also. Though the liver is very fatty. And uh, this layer, this tiny layer, thin, hypoquake, anaquake, there, this one is the fluid in the Morrison's pouch. Morrison's pouch is small amount of fluid. Now, this is the IVC. This is the IVC. No relation of the mass, not elevating or depressing. There is no relation of the mass with IVC. Here is the mass uh, just uh, below the anterior surface of the left lobe of the liver and then extending into the right hypochondrium and then uh, in the midline downwards. This is the IOC and this tiny cystic, this area is the right renal artery patent, clear. This is right renal artery. of alizing. <coughs> this is the uh, right renal artery as when I will maneuver the probe it will enter the hilum of the uh, kidney. So this mass has no effect on the vessels. This is the transfer section of the kidney and here is the hyalur region vessels entering and leaving the hyalur region of the uh, kidney. So here is, this is the hyalur region of the kidney. You can see vessels entering, leaving, and the mass by itself is also vascular in nature. As you can see, a lot of uh, flow through this mass. Kidney. So we saw kidney transfer. Now I am giving you the transfer section. What are these structures? 
Now, if I freeze the image here and I show you, this is the left lobe of the liver, the smooth outer margin, diffuse raised epigenicity, fatty liver, and this is the uh, ligamentum venosum, this is the left hepatic vein, and this is the IBC, <coughs> this is the quadrant lobe, ligamentum venosum segment one, whereas this is a lymph node and right lymph node seen and yet another one is seen in the <coughs> retroperitoneal region and you can see the measurements they are a large one measuring 4.6 into 3.2 other one measuring 5.8 into 2.4 so these are large uh, lymph nodes this is the another one here. This is another lymph node. You will be interested that whether I apply color on this or not. I will. First of all, this one. Let me magnify. This is a lymph node and a lymph node. <coughs> See the opening. Now this is the, I am going to show you the aorta. You have read about the nutcracker sign this is what it is. Now you see this is the <coughs> aorta, proximal aorta, <coughs> sorry, in longitudinal section. This is the superior mesenteric artery arising from it and this area is the lymph node that is elevating the uh, superior mesenteric artery and is seen between the aorta and the lymph node is seen between uh, in the angle between the aorta and the superior mesenteric artery. Again, now this is a lymph node. This is a lymph node. This is the liver angle. <coughs> now you will be interested to see the pancreas. This is the pancreas. This is the part of the body of the pancreas. This is the lymph node that you are seeing. This is the common hepatic artery. This is the superior mesenteric artery, this one, won't believe, now you will believe. This is the artery, left superior mesenteric artery, the rest, these are the lymph nodes, these are the nodes, this is the node, this is the node. And uh, here you see, this is a lymph node and that I will label as, this is the IVC, this one, and this is anterior to it, this lymph node, so this is the paracable lymph node, and this is the portahepatic region lymph node, as you can see there. Are. 
that uh, now I will show you in a, another view. See, here comes the photo vein. This is the photo vein. This one. This is the uh, lymph node. This is the common bile node, hepatic artery. So this is a case study of a large hypochondrial region mass, vascular mass extending from the region of the uh, Now what I want what I, what I am doing now is to show you the pancreas from another view. This is the pancreas, this is the splenic vein and uh, the, it does not, the mass does not relate to the pancreas. Neither mm. its head, this is the head of the pancreas, this region, this region is the head of the pancreas, this is the portal vein and here is the lymph node. So this is a case of uh, large uh, mass extending from the region of the right, uh, sorry, a right hypochondrium, yeah, down up to the parambilical region on the left side. And you can see the aorta posterior to it pulsating. This is the aorta with paraiotic plan lymph node, para cable plan lymph node, and para celiac plan lymph nodes. Here. This is the portal vein. This centripetal flow and uh, this is the hepatic artery and the duct will not show you the flow. This is the duct, this linear structure. Mass once again. Oh yeah, regarding the gallbladder. You now the gallbladder is showing sludge which is tumorous, tumoriferous, tumoriferous sludge. <coughs> I showed you gallbladder. These are this is the bowel segment. This is the hepatic vein. This one. And you can see it's giving a hepatofugal uh, flow. If you see this uh, bars, the petrofugal flow. For those who are interested in uh, Doctor study and who are trained in this uh, segment of sonology. This now you see you don't see a flow in this duct tubular structure. This is the common hepatic duct, uh, so there is no flow in it. This is the hepatic artery. Is it a hepatic artery? Just wait. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Sorrow, sorrow. 
No Supreme Mughali was seen during the scan and uh, see this. This is our case of the day relating to the head large mass, vascular mass in the region of the right hypochondrium with tumoriferous sludge in the uh, gallbladder with uh, adjacent adenopathy. Thank you very much.